This is called what wrestler would you be? There you go. So, so with that being so with that being said, Saga, you have had I would want to say a successful battle rap career. Um, that in so my opinion, in my opinion, really took off in 2014. Yeah, you know what I mean, 2014 went 2022, eight years. You know what I mean, a consecutive body of work. You know what I mean, a household name to many, well respected by their peers. A lot of accolades on your list. If you could choose what wrestler you would be that you feel like mirrors your career, who would it be? Mm. Mm. If I can pick a wrestler that um, that fits what I've been able to contribute to wrestling as I've done the battle rap, I would say Chris Jericho. Mm. Mm, that's cr- why I say Chris Jericho, right? Because when you look at what he's contributed, and me, I'm a super fan of wrestling, right? Mm-hmm. So I've I've admired his work since New Japan Pro Wrestling, going to WCW, the debut Y2J. Monday Night Raw. She yeah, happens man. ain't gonna like this, but continue. You know, you think about listen, man. She she happens. May the Lord bless you. You can get this right, man. I'm I'm outside. I don't know if you know. I don't know if you know, but we I'm outside. Available. We have available. You know what I mean? Uh I think of what Chris Jericho offered to wrestling and how well he was able to rebrand and remarket himself to different eras and still remain a level of conversation. And how I was able to rebrand myself from just like young Christian kid to NWX saga to to the Four Horsemen saga or even Sensei saga, there was always a sense of conversation to be had around my name, whether good or bad. Like there was always something there, and it was always a rebranding with every era that I was I played a part in. So I would say Chris Jericho because he rebranded himself uh, amazingly. And was still able to create a conversation around his name, whether it's the list Chris Jericho right. or the the Y2J arms out Chris Jericho, or even now in, in his AEW tenure right now, um, this the OG Chris Jericho. Wizard. You know what I mean? Like and it's like how we still able to put on quality matches. I'm still able to put on quality performances. And and I I think that's what best fits. Shout out to Chris Jericho. I got a picture with Chris Jericho. It was at Del Frisco's. Five years ago. Five. I want to add on to that. Quick, just because that, that is actually my answer, too. I, I was going to say Chris Jericho. Yeah, you don't say. And also, <laughs> 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 I want to say when Chris Jericho first started in the time he was in, I think I could see the impact and a bunch of other like technical submission based wrestlers hop out. And uh, if you go to battle rap events, there's a bunch of Christian battle rappers. Now that that wasn't even a thing when I had first started watching, so I think the the impact is there and it's clear, and I think that can be traced back to Saga. So I just wanted to add that because I also agree. I think Chris Jericho was going to be my answer, and I think that's who you would be as a wrestler. Okay, uh, Warren, who you going with? For Saga? Yeah, who you For think Saga is? Let's get into it. That's love too, bro. I, I, I I'm 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 not, I'm not mad at the Chris Jericho. I'm, the way he broke it down. It makes sense, you know what I'm saying. If if I had to About say to be somebody, Cody Rhodes real soon. Keep yeah. playing. If I had to, I like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. If I had to say someone though, I probably, I probably would say Kurt Angle. Mm-hmm. And the reason why I would say Kurt Angle mm-hmm. is because, um, see me, I'm not as tapped in with the battle rap scene like y'all. But one thing I could say for sure that I know about this brother, I ain't know about no quote unquote. Christian battle rappers right. to him. Right. You feel me? I feel like he kicked down, not not kicked down the door, but kicked down hinges. You know, whether people want to give this man his flowers or not. Absolutely. And Kurt Angle, not for nothing, one of the more underrated personalities of a very successful time in WWF, WWE. Like, I feel like he's one of those guys that was very valuable, but maybe he wasn't a rock or a stone cold, but shit, he, excuse my language, but you could put him in there. You could put him in there. And I'm, I'm, and on a certain day, depending on the day, he could get him too. Anybody, so. Um, for me, I was a ri- like, it's tough because you you try you try to this like man, s- my, mind you, this is the footnote. This man has seen me since my second battle ever. Mm-hmm. Right. You know what I mean, like, he took a shot ever. at me too. Yeah, I did. Hey, don't do it again. You know what I mean, <laughs> <laughs> this man has seen me since my second battle ever. Um, you know what I'm saying. I don't want to be cliche, but it's like not only 
um, Ishaga, the person that's at the forefront of Christian battle rap. He's also, um, you know, one of the, because it's a lot of Latino battle rappers, but one of the few, you know what I mean, he's mixed, but he's one of the few that has transcended, you know what I mean, to be one of the biggest names putting on and vocally saying that in his mm. battles. Like, you know what I mean, somebody can be from somewhere or be something, but mm. they don't have to advertise it. Like, he's advertised both and put it on the forefront of, I'm a Christian battle rapper, this is what we can do. I'm also, you know what I mean, of Latino descent, this is, we're, we're capable of doing that too. Um, I'm going to go with Ray Mysterio. That was my. I was thinking that too. That was my. Second I, I'm gonna go with Ray Mysterio. Man, yeah, Z, you be thinking about a lot, man. Mm. I'll, I'll, no, I answer. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he said, "I was thinking Chris. Jer- I was thinking Chris Jericho too." Yeah, <laughs> lies. Ray Mysterio. All lies. I was saying Ray Mysterio was my second pick, bro. I promise you, that's exactly <laughs> where my brain was at next. Yo, but um, I say Ray Mysterio because I feel like Ray Mysterio. Um, from a technical aspect of just technical wrestling yeah. is appreciated by everyone that is in the WWE and WCW where he wrestled. But in terms of the fans and the culture, he's kind of, he's very underrated to me. I yeah. feel like Rey Mysterio doesn't get the respect he deserves. And when it's all said and done, when he's done, he's definitely Hall of Fame. And I feel that like that with Saga, like a lot of people that are not a technical student of battle rap, because when you're watching battle rap, it's not too many people. If we, Sue Surf, shout out to him. But we go, we can intertwine this three ways: basketball, wrestling, and battle rap. If you compare the way the Spurs play basketball, only someone that studies the game of basketball can appreciate it. To to the naked eye, it's boring. Right. You know what I mean? I even get that with my criticism. All battle rappers understand the techniques and the tools that I'm using when I'm putting this scheme together and correlating it with this movie and using breakdowns. But to the naked eye, it may not be appealing because it's not entertaining and gravitating. I feel like Saga's style of writing. His style of punching, you know what I mean? The pockets that he chooses, the mannerisms, it's all technical. Like, you have to be a certain student of the game and appreciate art to understand that. And Rey Mysterio is a technical wrestler. Very good one. A high flyer. He has the moves. like, And that's what I mean about Saga because at the same time when he's technical, he also creates the moments. And I mean, Saga versus Ryder, the Eddie Guerrero um, joint. Um, Multiple battles, the Undertaker, the gloves different, the designer, mm-hmm. he uh the um rip snake, off chest. Rip off chest, mm-hmm. snake is in danger. He mm-hmm. always has those those are like for those, those I call those the high flyings off the top with a mm-hmm. six one nine. Right. Mm-hmm. So he has he has a bunch of those in his repertoire mm-hmm. that makes everybody go, ah. He mm-hmm. has those moments. Mm-hmm. Um, you know what I mean? It's just, you know, the way the storyline or the script may go, they're not just putting him there. But Ray Mysterio, at some point in his career, he was a world champion. Yeah. I feel like before Saga's career ended. And he will get to the place that he deserves to be, which, in a, you know what I mean, in the sense of wrestling, is a world champion. Another Absolutely. gnome, another summer madness, um, you know what I mean, a big plate with somebody that's there. And and I feel like he's appreciated in the culture, like I said, by peers. And I feel like anybody that truly understands and loves wrestling to the T, there's no way you can't doubt Rey Mysterio is a legend, a pioneer for putting on for his country, uh, when it, being one of the smallest people and, you know what I mean, dealing with the adversity of that, which I could would compare to the Christianity thing because mm-hmm. when people just hear a Christian battle rapper, it's like, ah, oh, what is he about to do? Yeah. You know what I mean? When you see somebody that small yeah. going against a Batista or Undertaker, it's like, right. you know, you know where your bet is placed. And then, then so, Ray Mysterio so, does what he does. So, so let me 